Kitchen. Good morning. Hey, everybody. I'm here with my breakfast and my friend Tina. Turn the camera. Turn it now. We show everybody the camera person. <laughs> so far, we've had my daughter, my son, my husband, and now Tina. <laughs> All right. So we are, I'm going to walk you through real quick. Um, we're trying to print on this baby blanket, which is super pretty and soft. Um, and we're gonna just I'm gonna show you since we already have the design how to how I Do it on my Photoshop how I print from my Photoshop to the Epson um, Okay So We are gonna go up here to open or excuse me. Sorry start fresh. We're gonna go to file new and This is how I start my canvas to print um, as I was telling you guys before because my press is only 16 by 20 but my, um, it prints up to 24 inches. So I try to do it as big as I can, but so it fits on my press. So I have uh, customized my own 15 and a half by 19 and a half um, canvas to start most of my projects. That way I know that I'm fitting it on my press. Um, so we're going to do that. Okay. This is where I was telling you to with the color profiles. So this is how I started. This is what's work working best for me. So we got the 15 and a half by 19 and a half. It's going to definitely fit on my press. I don't know. I always keep it at 600. Um, this is just what has worked. So I don't mess with it. Um, the RGB color, that is like the most commonly used um, color mode and then we have the background contents I just keep it a big white canvas um, and then here's the color profile this is the one that I have found that works the best for me there is a whole list if you guys want to take the time to go through um, you know by all means please let me know because I've clicked on a couple and I printed and I didn't really like it so I'm sticking with this most commonly used one as well the um, srgb which i also called epson and i asked um, a little bit of advice and he told me that that's just the most commonly one used so we're going to create it's going to bring me to this we are going to file open and tina made for the blanket super cute what is the size on it do we know oh. no not sure. Okay. All right. So when I open up something, I always um, just open it like this. And this is my canvas that I just walked you guys through making. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to drag it and bring it over here. Boom. There's my image. So we are going to do it as this, as she has already sized it. I'm going to keep it that same exact size. So what I'm really going to show you now is how to print and save as much paper as we possibly can um, when using the roll paper. Um, so I'm going to change to um, landscape mode and I'm going to place this to as far top as I can and we're gonna turn it okay all right so we are going to place like so <clears throat> if you price your things properly this is not gonna make a difference um, however this part of the paper we are gonna save that so I'm going to leave it just like so because I have it in my settings already for it to automatically mirror, which um, you're going to see anyways. So we'll just file print. Okay, so now it brings me here. This is my Photoshop print settings. It also brings me to the Epson print settings. So here I make sure I have my 17 by 24 because that is the full length of the paper um, that the Epson is able to print. So we're just going to actually make this a tiny bit bigger. So that way we have it to the edge there. All right. So over here I have my printer set for my... Um, it's the Epson F570 and then my print settings here when you bring up the print settings 
it acquires the information on your printer um, this is the only thing that I have changed. So your paper size here, I have it set at user defined. When you go here, your document size, these are your options you can go through. However, I keep it at the 17 by 24. So if you click user define and hit OK, it then comes here to your custom paper size. So your custom paper size comes up. I don't like to read it in whatever millimeters I read it in inches so here's my 17 by 24 so that's how I know that's the size of my paper I have set it to that so I hit OK um, my source is my roll paper um, because it's the roll um, this is the type of paper and we're gonna keep it at standard simple settings I have always keep kept uh, the high quality checked on everything that I do. I try to just keep that checked. Um, and up here, layout in advance and stuff, I really don't mess with that stuff. If, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So I leave it. So we're going to hit OK. So when you hit OK, if you have changed anything, it's going to change it here. But I already have it set, so it's not going to change. So we're going to hit print. Okay, so this is the Epson print preview I was telling you it brings you to, which is, it's nice because it lets you control how much paper you use. Alright, so like I was saying, it's automatically mirrored, which I didn't have to do that. It's made for dye sublimation, so it's like it already knew that it needed to be mirrored. So it's mirrored and when you put it at the top of your paper in your um, Photoshop canvas like I was telling you here how it's at the top when it mirrors it it mirrors it to the bottom so now I'm starting here so now we have these settings over here um, when you scroll down it has this save paper roll so now watch the image boom saved my paper so, like I said, once again, as long as you are properly pricing your items, this little bit of paper, if you're super OCD like me, it'll bother you at first, but then you get used to it. can't do nothing about it unless you're going to print multiple items, but in this case, we're only printing one blanket. So, um, that's about it, and I am ready to send it to my printer. Um, these things up here, I guess I can walk you through real quick. This is just to give you a box so it shows you that this is your print area. I don't care to see that. Um, this is fit to window, so this fits to your window. It's not super small. Um, you can zoom in and out. Uh, this is where if you have multiple pages printing, they will all be listed here. And this here is where it will automatically cut your paper after it's done printing, um, which is also nice because if you're printing a whole lot of stuff, you can turn this off um, right here. So in the auto cut, I have it at normal cut because I want it to cut, but you can turn it off and I'm pretty sure this will go away and not cut. It's just my computer is super slow, so boom. So it won't cut. It'll just keep printing if you needed it to keep printing. I need it on cutting. <laughs> Working too fast for my computer. Okay, <clears throat> so that's it. We're going to print. So if you want to show this box that pops up, this is the box that comes up to show you that it's printing. It's basically just that it's showing you your ink levels and that it's in the process of printing your paper right now. Um, and that's it. It's printing. So now we just watch. And because I set it at high quality, it does take a little bit longer than I guess it would probably not very much of a difference but it's not that bad it turns pretty quickly so um also i can touch base with you guys on this paper thing in my last video um loading the paper and changing the paper so i showed you in one of the first videos this is the paper roll that i bought this it's the 275 feet which i got it from condi which is dietrans.com um, 
this this paper for the my Epson workforce um 7720 love it it's the best paper ever I will buy it all the time but I'm for this one I think I like the Epson paper better that'll be up to you guys to decide if you want to walk through that same thing that I went through because honestly it's just a complete hassle Condi totally not your fault but this only accommodates 100 feet. And this was a pain in the butt. And I had to sit there and roll it and roll it and roll it. And then I don't know exactly how much I put on my roll. So to be able to tell exactly how much is left in my printer was rough. I have to figure that out. So I'm not sure yet. But there you go. You hear it. Um, it cut it for me. So this is the print. But if you look, since it's fresh, see, can you see it in the video? Um, this paper just doesn't absorb the ink as fast as the um, paper um, that came with my printer when I first bought it. The paper that comes with it is great. Just continue to buy that. It, it works. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So we're going to press the blanket and I guess I can pause here. And yeah, we'll pick up and show them how we press the blanket from there. So we'll be back.